What's up guys? So I beat the Mass Effect 3 demo um, twice already with Femship and Maleship. And it's awesome. It's actually, it's not that long. It's not as long as I thought it would be. If you've played the Kingdoms of Amalur uh, demo, the that demo is actually longer than the Mass Effect 3 demo. Um, and I actually prefer smaller demos. I don't pref I don't like them to be very long. Um, I think this was like what forty five to forty five minutes maybe, maybe an hour. But the thing that surprised me or kind of caught me off guard was that the demo is completely different from well not completely but very different from the beta leak. It's not the same, um, and I was like. I wonder which one is going to be, you know, more similar to the game. Like, I don't know if they just cut out a lot of pieces from the demo, but it seems like the beta leak had a little bit more um, to it. And the demo, they did a really, really good job about keeping the demo almost neutral and not too spoiler, um, you know, spoilerific, like I like to say. So, if you're worried about getting big spoilers by playing the demo, it really it doesn't spoil anything. It, the, the, ba the main purpose, and you could feel it, the main purpose of the demo is for you to test out all of the classes and how they play, how, how they play in combat. That's the biggest, the biggest thing b b with the demo, and I love that. That's like, that's like a perfect way to do a, a demo, in my opinion. I really don't like, I mean, the, the Kingdoms of Amalur demo was fun, yeah, I liked it, but it's the, it's the exact same thing as the game, like, it's the very beginning of the game, and it's the same thing, like, you play the demo, and then you play the game, and it's like you have to play it, the demo all over again. So, but Mass Effect 3, it's different, it's like, it gives you pieces, it's not like a full playthrough. I don't think the demo Mass Effect 3... Um, I don't think it's the very beginning of the game. I think it's like shortly after the very beginning. Um, so it, it gives you pieces of the game all out of order. And sometimes you're just like, it just all of a sudden starts. And you're just like, what, wait, what happened? They cut out a lot of stuff. So it's not really spoiling the, 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 the storyline, which I, I like. I loved that about the demo. I actually want to do a playthrough for all the classes. Um so that I could see which one I, I like better. I played as Infiltrator, but it, you don't really get a good feel for Infiltrator because I didn't find any snipers. Um, and the Infiltrator, their, one of their main focuses is sniping. Um, so I wasn't able to do that. And that's one of the reasons why I really like Infiltrator is because, because of that specialty, that, that sniper specialty. So I wasn't able to, to really experience that in the game. And I didn't see any Omni Tool, uh, Omni Tool attacks for the Infiltrator. I, I was looking for the... I, I couldn't find any controls for it. Like, I was like, does he not have an Omni Tool attack? I, I didn't find any, so... That's the only class I've played through right now, so far, is the Infiltrator. Next, I'm probably going to try Soldier next, and then I'm going to go down the line from there. So, uh, so yeah, I, w I really want to get a feel for all the classes and see how they all play and which one seems better and all that. Um, uh, by default, my shepherds that I'm going to import, one of them's an in, in infiltrator and the other one is an engineer. So, um, those I'm going to play, but I really want to find another class that I might like to start another playthrough with. But yeah, I, I I really I think the demo is really, really good. It does a really good job about um not spoiling the story but giving you an idea of how each class plays and how the combat is and you getting used to it uh before before the game uh comes out. Because it is a little different. It doesn't I found myself kind of um trying to get used to it a little bit just because I don't know if it was because I was coming from directly from playing like uh what's it called Deus Ex Deus Ex has such a different type of combat system and I got so accustomed to playing that one that I was like I was trying to get out of the, the whole 
um, the, that, you know, that routine in my head and adapt to this one, um, which is, I don't, which is not hard. Uh, Deus Ex is, was even more confusing. This one is just, you know, getting used to it because it is different from, uh, it is different from Mass Effect 2. It feels, Mass Effect 3, at least in the demo, it feels a lot like Mass Effect 1. Um, even the colors and the way that things, like when you shoot, when you're, when you're shooting an enemy, that their little health bar is back to the way that it was in Mass Effect 1. Um, the whole, the sounds of the guns when they're out of ammo, it sounds a lot like in Mass Effect 1 when you were, uh, your, your, your gun would, would heat up. Go, do, 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 do. It has the same sound, so it seems like they brought back a lot of stuff from Mass Effect, Mass Effect One, um, which is cool. I, I, I'm glad. It seems like they have a good mixture of Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two, and then of course they have. Uh, you can move around the field a little more. Um, that was kind of weird, just because I wasn't so used to that in a Mass Effect game, like being able to roll around and sometimes. You press the A button and then you find yourself like from, like jumping over a wall. It's, it was kind of like Gears of War, where um, the A button does everything. The A button, you you go into cover. The A button, you roll. Press the A button, you, you jump over a wall. Um, it's kind of like that. Uh, so sometimes you do you you press the A button and you want to do one thing and you end up doing another thing. Um, but I think it's just about getting used to it. If you guys are wondering whether you should play it or not, I say play it. It it really there's no there's there's no big spoilers. Everything that you see in the demo, BioWare has announced since since day one. Like when they were saying the list of like some people say, oh, there's a big spoiler in there. It's it's not a spoiler because they've been saying this since day one when they said they when they gave out the list of the characters that were going to be in Mass Effect Three. I mean, unless you've been completely, completely blocking yourself from any spoilers, then you probably won't know. Just treat the demo as getting used to it for when you play Mass Effect 3. And I've heard some people say, I don't think I'm going to play the demo because I want to be completely surprised when I play the actual game. I was thinking the same thing for a little bit, but then I was like, nothing is going to take that away from me when I play Mass Effect 3. Nothing is going to make me make me go, oh, well, here I go again, it's, you know, it's like the demo, no, and especially with the way that, the, that Bioware did the demo, like I said, it's so, it's so out of sync that you really don't have that much idea of what's going on, so that when you play the actual game, um, it's gonna be fresh, even though you already played a, a snippet of it, you're gonna be like, oh, this is that one part from the demo, but you're, you're finally gonna understand what happened before and what happened after. That's just my opinion. Uh, if you guys want to take that um, into consideration or not, that's up to you. That's completely up to you. Uh, and that's that's if you decide not to play the demo, then that's that's fine. But I I, I just recommend it so that you can get used to it and really um, test out all the classes. And if you find a class in Mass Effect Three that you really like and that you don't have an import for Mass Effect 1 or Mass Effect 2 with the same class. I mean, I think you could change it. You were able to change it in Mass Effect 2. I think you will be able to change your class, even though you import a character in Mass Effect 3. Um, but in case in case you want to start off a new character as that class, um, as the class that you're playing in the demo, and you're like, ooh, this class is awesome, like an addict, you're like, oh, I want to start an addict. You have a good, good amount of time to still go back and play Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 2, if you're really dedicated, or at least just Mass Effect 2. Caden, I got to see Caden and Ashley, and Ashley looks way different, of course. She's got like a total makeover. But Caden, Caden actually does look different also. He looks more mature, and he, has, he actually looks more pumped. Everybody looks more pumped in this game. Like, even Anderson looks like, like he's well fit. Like, damn, Anderson, what's up, bro? Damn. <laughs> but yeah, Caden looks way more pumped than he did in Mass Effect 1. Mass Effect 1, he looked kind of puny. And in Mass Effect 2, you can't really tell because he had his armor on, but but he, he yeah, he, look, he looks pretty cool. I like how the way, the way that Caden looks. And I'm ne I've never been a big Caden fan, but I'm going to be excited to 
play my playthrough with Caden, even though I still, you know, toss him out of the airlock. Just kidding. I would never do that to Caden. The customization, <clears throat> some of you were wondering about the customization, uh, the character customization. It's not very different. It's very, it's kind of, it's very much the same. Especially the features, the facial features, that's all pretty much the same. Um, you still have the same options, nose, mouth, eyes. But the thing that did change was some hairstyles and some uh, hair colors. Some of the hairstyles are like, they're not that great, especially for Femchef. I was just expecting a little more. Three, but maybe three of them looked very much the same. They were like this ponytail uh, hairstyle, but it looks kind of weird. It almost looks like, like you put your hair back and then you loosened it and you have like a big bulb of hair right here, you know, it kind of looks like that, and I was just like, what? The, the hair colors, though, are very wild, like, you've got, like, a dark pink, you've got, uh, like, a really, really bright red, really dark red, a red, um, a purple, so you've got some crazy colors for the hair, uh, so there are some differences in the hair, but not too much, hopefully in the actual game, they we see that they actually added more, hopefully, because they were talking about, they were like claiming that they were going to be adding a bunch of new hairstyles and stuff. So if you've seen the beta leak, um, the beta leak has more, a bigger chunk of the storyline, all in one playthrough, than the actual demo. The demo is cut up in pieces, like it's just like, it does a really good job about that. And the, 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 the beta was just, it was a bigger piece. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll, I'll add it, but um, I'm going to have company over again today, so I probably will not be able to record. <coughs> there they are. <coughs> Charlie, shut up! I'm not going to be able to record <coughs> until later tonight, but I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm talking about the keepers for the Mass Fight Talks.